So, I've been fairly shy, not very confident around others, especially women. Um, I don't think many people would have thought me shy. I, I developed some pretty good protective skills that probably seem like gregariousness or being really socially active around those I was in a party or activity with. But those interactions were pretty shallow. I usually escaped anyone knowing me in any deep or meaningful way. Away from the limelight of social events, I, I was pretty withdrawn and uh, always felt a sigh of relief when I could get away from being around others. I'd use my solitary time for two events, pornography and video games. Both activities allowed me to create and imagine false worlds that seemed real to me. These activities were substitutes for real, meaningful human interaction uh, without the risk of being seen as awkward, stupid, or... but worse, I came to see that the way I approached video games and porn were the same. In both, I was using people. I could manipulate them and imagine them as existing for my sole benefit. I mustered enough courage to tell my bishop about it. Uh, he was he was really good about it. Uh, my parents also tried to help out too. They would uh, go out and find different uh, technology like uh, filtered internet, uh, timers. So most of it was focused on the pornography side of my addiction. All of it was helpful in one way or another. I still struggled. I wanted to recover, I really did, but it was like some days I would just forget why. Like I'd be in a weird mood or having a crappy day and slowly I'd start undoing some of the restrictions that my parents set. And, you know, sometimes they'd work correctly and I'd snap out of it, but sometimes I got around them. My parents, when I, they saw these kinds of losses, they blamed the technology uh, and they would just get something new. But there would always be some way around it. People would sometimes come up to me uh, and say, boy, that pornography really has a hold on you. And one day I, I realized that that very phrase I was using as an excuse. If pornography or video games controls my actions, if I'm a victim of it, then where's my own responsibility? I began to wake up. I thought, since when do video games have responsibility over me? Since when do video games to control how long I play or, or a TV determine what I watch? Why, why do they have responsibility if I turn them on and off? Where was my control in my own life? One day the ridiculousness of this just hit me so clearly that I started laughing laughing while being disgusted with myself, actually. I had no control over my life until I decided that I was going to take that control. It was in my refusal to be a victim to inanimate objects that started me on the journey to where I am today. <laughs>